Welcome to another Mr. Mutech video. Today I'm going to show you how to connect and pair your Amazon uh, Echo Pop to your iPhone. So basically there's several problems that you might run into during this process. The first thing that you want to make sure when you are ready to pair is that this light up here is orange. That means it's ready to pair. But to get to that point, you might have some other trouble. So I'm going to show you how we can re resolve that today. So the first thing that you need to make sure of is that you actually have the uh, Amazon Alexa app on your iPhone. And once you have that installed, make sure you go through the process of uh, putting in all the information at once before you can actually get to the pairing or the home screen. Okay. Once you get to the home screen and you're ready to pair, then what we need to do is make sure that the Echo Pop is ready to pair as well. And there's a couple things that we can do on our iPhone and on this device to make sure that they work with one another. So the first thing is let's look on our iPhone because you need to make sure that you have on Bluetooth. So make sure that your Bluetooth is set to on on your device. And also make sure that you have your iPhone um, connected to some kind of Wi-Fi or the hotspot on, on the device itself. Now you can connect this to the iPhone hotspot, but there will need to be some kind of Wi-Fi. Otherwise what happens is as soon as it pairs, it'll disconnect. Okay. So have some kind of Wi-Fi available for this to connect. Okay. So the next thing we want to do, go ahead and do is make sure that this device is ready to pair the Echo Pop. And there's a couple things that we can do if we're having problems. So the first thing to start doing is when you plug this in, let it go ahead and cycle through. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and look at the volume up and volume down button. And you're going to hold these for about 15 seconds and then let go. And if this is red or blue, it likely should go ahead and finally turn to orange so you can pair. Okay. Now, if that doesn't work and you're still having trouble with it, the next thing to do is to just factory reset it. And you can do that by pressing uh, this button here, the, the middle one, which is like, you could call this the power button or the uh, microphone button, and then the uh, volume down, okay, or minus. So you press these right here and hold them down. And this one takes about 20, 25 seconds or so. You're going to press and hold those down. Then you're going to allow this thing to completely reset. It's going to remove any previous devices it was set to and then start fresh. And then you're going to get this orange uh, line that pops up here on the light. And then it will be ready to pair with your iPhone. Now, once you do that, you're going to see this pop up right here. You're going to go ahead and tap on agree and continue. And when you do that, you're going to see that it's going to want to connect to your device. Okay. But it's also going to look for Wi-Fi because it wants to make sure this can stay connected to Wi-Fi while you're using it. Okay. So like I said before, you're either going to make sure that you have your hotspot on or that you connect to some kind of Wi-Fi in your area, like your home network. Okay. And once you connect, they'll stay paired and it's good to go moving forward. So hopefully that helps you guys out. If, if so, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.